your girl Brittany and as you can see I'm actually going to be cooking for you today. I'm going to be making my famous Creole catfish. Uh, believe it or not your girl can actually cook and I know Babe really likes my catfish so I'm giving her a break today. Uh, so I'm just going to be sharing with y'all my seasonings that I put in there and then I'm going to let my fish marinate for a little bit before I actually deep fry it. So first things first I already put just a little bit of milk in here but I'm also going to go ahead and put an egg in here. And then as that egg is sitting in there, if you can tell I have it right here, I'm just going to go ahead and break it up and let it get on the fish. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that milk and that egg in together. There we go. So it don't take too much. It don't take too long. I got about five fillets in here that I have cut up. Um, and yeah, here we go. So I got that part mixed in and done. The next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my Creole mustard and I'm just gonna put a little douse of that in there for you so you can see it's just dropping in there. This is actually going to give it a little sweetness uh, but also some texture as well. So once I have that in there, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this in. I'll let y'all kind of see what I'm doing here. See those? Again, I have some fillets that I have cut up into just longer pieces. And we're gonna make sure this rocking and rolling. So far, again, I have a little bit of milk, um, one egg, and I put my Creole mustard in there. So the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and season these bad boys. So let me go ahead and wash this uh, seasoning off my glove and I'll be right back and I'm gonna get to seasoning my catfish. All right, so now that I am back, I'm gonna go ahead and season my catfish. Now, you can season your catfish in whatever order you please. I just kinda have out a slew of the items that I'm gonna put in, but I always like to start off with my garlic powder. I'll go ahead and douse over it one way to the left and then one way back to the right. And then I'll go ahead and pick up my onion powder, go ahead and douse it all the way to the left and then back to the right. There we go. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and put in my paprika. And this pepper has not been open yet, so give me one second. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is give it a little paprika. It's really not paprika, it's actually just uh, pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and douse that all around so far. This is what we're working with. Um, Put that out front and then i have the original tony's creole seasoning so i'll go ahead and now this does have a little kick so i'll just kind of go over it just one time with it there we go and then last but not least uh use adobo um it's like having salt adding a little bit of salt to it you don't want it to be too salty just just a little bit so now that i have that in there i'm gonna go ahead and mix all my seasonings together go ahead mix that in you know it's seasoning around all around the edges so go ahead and mix that in one thing i always get told about my catfish is that it is very flavorful uh not only the crust but actually the fish itself so it's just allowing it to marinate just a little bit and then we're gonna drop it in some hot grease and then get y'all that all right, so this is what your catfish will end up looking like once you have seasoned it and put all of your ingredients on there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and season my seasonings, meaning the batter of my catfish, and I'll be right back. So just rock with me, stay tuned. I'm bringing y'all my famous Creole catfish today. i 
little catfish. I'm pulling it hot out the grease. You already know it is made with love. We're gonna let that soak, get that grease out of there. And uh, brought to you by none only than your girl, Brittany. How it's looking, y'all? Okay, okay. Don't lie to a kid, y'all. <laughs> Don't lie to a kid. Yeah. I'm sorry, what you say about that fish? It's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let me know what you think over there, sis. You know, they sleep on me because Dory can cook. They be sleeping on me, but. I always got for your catfish. Hey. Probably as good as my mama. That's a big ass. Yeah. I Alright, sis. Oh. Come with the drops. <laughs> Come with the drops. And it's hot. That's the best part. Yeah. I ain't got this messy mixture with the hot sauce. That mustard hot sauce? That's how my that's how my mama eat it in there. Huh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and you know I'm country lucky. In your heart. All right, so while my fish is marinating, uh, I'm going to be peeling these sweet potatoes because we are also going to be having some candy yams. So this is one of my favorite tools that my mom actually gave Dory. Um, and I always tell her that if she cooks me uh, candy yams, I will actually peel the potatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And we do like to do a little dual cooking ever so often. So I'm gonna be taking care of the catfish. Um, and peeling the potatoes and babe is going to cook us some cabbage and she is also going to be seasoning her candy yams because when i tell you they are fire man every single time somebody eats her candy yams they are always like all right so clearly i just got interrupted because my mom just called me but um i'm getting to these potatoes and um, as always, just rock with us. I'm gonna give you the final product. I'm also going to um, be showing you guys how Noe makes her cabbage uh, on the stove. So it'll just be a snippet here and there, but just kind of rock with us as we kind of give you some cooking videos. Uh, so you can see that it's kind of dual responsibility around here. I will say Dory cooks about 85% of the time and I cook a good 15% of the time. But when I do cook, most of the time it's to give her a break or um, maybe she wants something of mine that I cook really well. So that's kind of where we at today. Uh, so keep rocking with us and uh, I'll be back here soon. We out. All right, so now that I have cut these up <laughs> or my wife has cut these up, we're gonna go ahead and dump them into the pot. Save me some because I like to layer it. So go ahead and leave that. Just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. And then um, my sugar and my sugar. Yeah, I'm okay. Right. So before I pour this in there, what is in your sugar and spices? So normally I just I just went ahead and combined it all because I was gonna have you make it. Okay. But I would just do I just do sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, um, and that's pretty much it in there. And then whenever I put all of them in there, I just sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top because people can put a little bit too much nutmeg in their um, yams. Uh huh. So we don't need all of that. We don't need all of that. No. And I'm going to say put a stick of butter and halfway in there. Okay. So do I, how much was I supposed to put That's in That's fine. There? That worked. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and cut a little bit of this up. Okay. And those go in here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Just kind of put them in there. And then at first, I always put like a little tablespoon of water because um, you don't put water in your yams when you cook it. It makes its own juices with the butter and sugar. But I just add a little tablespoon of water at the bottom of it. So y'all, tell me why I didn't know that. One time, uh, I was trying to help Noe cook the yams, and we had cut up the potatoes, and then I like put it like filled it up with water, and she was like, "What are you doing?" Mm -hmm. I laughed at you. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why I thought this is how they get soft. But my mama just tried to tell me to do that today. Yeah, she, she was like, did. I didn't have a different way of making yams. And I was like, how, mama? She was like, I boil them with water first. But she didn't cook them all the way. I guess she just puts them in there to soften them up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then she... Um, so she be eating them hard yams. No, but then she'll put like her seat, like her spices in there. Mm -hmm. And then she'll let them cook. And I'm like, no. Nah. Nah. We, we need yeah. them to absorb that sweetness. I gotta have sweet yams. Like I like yams already in general, but 
I need my hands to be sweet. And then once we do that, we're gonna put like a four teaspoon of vanilla in there. And then we just gonna let them cook slow. Okay, another thing you don't wanna do when you're making yams is like stir them because um, they get super soft and they get mushy at the bottom. So I just let mine cook. That's why I kind of like layer it up with the stuff. So I don't have to remove, like move it and I'll like, before I start cooking, I'm gonna get them all tossed in this sauce or see, you know, spices and I'll just let them cook. I do not stir my yams. The yams gotta be sweet. And I like to stir on all of them there so that every piece of the yam get coated with some sugar. So I put a fourth teaspoon of the vanilla in there. And then I just sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top. Like you don't want to overdo it with nutmeg because it's already overpowering. So what I just do is just sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg over top. And that's all I do. And I just let it cook. Perfect. All right, so what do you have here, babe? I have a red pepper, um, um, yellow onion, jalapeno, and then some salsa. This is the first time I'm using like red pepper, so I wanted to see what it tastes like. Okay. Um, but yeah, usually I use like green. So you just All go right. ahead and put it in the skillet. And I'm going to cut up this cabbage and throw it in with it. All right, so I've already put a little oil in here, so I'm just going to be yeah. dropping this in here. Let's wait on the red ones because they cook kind of fast. Okay. So we can throw a few in there, but let's wait on those. All right. I'll put them in there with the cabbage. And it cooks down, so it's going to be full at first, but it definitely cooks down. Okay. All right. We're going to find out. Y'all, this cabbage, it's, good it's all right with me now. It's all right. I'm not even going to lie. That little sausage that come up in through there. That little sausage that come up in through there. <laughs> Mm. Y'all, you know. I'm gonna eat healthy and get my body together. For Let me tell you what. If your heart is right, your body gonna be just fine. Right. You're right, baby. You're telling me that. I'm saving these yams for last because they sweet. Y'all know I gotta clear out my palate, but palate before I get to that. Then you've been riding with us Ain't nobody gonna hold you down like I do Stay true to you like I do Spoil you like I do Adore you like I do Clean for you like I 